That voice, it's the ghost, Holmes. The Russian ghost. <laughs> but I'm not Russian. You are. Mr. Wilhelm, you never told us you were such a talented ventriloquist. Oh, he's not the one speaking. I am. My name is Game. He is the game. I'm a computer program. I'm with a user, a human. Hi. And we're trying everything we can to get home. Do you know how we can exit your game? What's a video game? What's up, guys? Welcome back to There Is No Game, where I'm calling shenanigans, because we know for a fact there is a game here somewhere. Like, we've seen it, but the narrator is keeping it from us. So I'm hoping today we can actually manage to outsmart that disembodied Russian, wherever he is, and actually get to play something. Well, considering last episode, he hid the game behind a logo, an electrical panel, a logo, a door, a safe, a loading screen, an entire fake operating system, I really doubt finding the game is going to be quite as easy as drawing back a curtain. You can't blame me for being hopeful. <laughs> Hello? Namaste, user. This is the program speaking. I have some bad news. Actually, this is not a game. I hope you are not too disappointed. You can still watch a Bollywood film, take a walk around the Ganges, learn to dance. <laughs> Such a cliche. Who is it? What are you doing in my game? I mean my non-game. What? This is my game. I mean my non-game. What are you talking about? Go away. You should not be here. But, user, do something, damn it. Like what? You have a funny accent. Are you Russian? Russian? Do I roll the R like that, sir? Of course not! Overreaction. Typically Russian. I am not Russian! <laughs> Idiot! You woke him up! Oh no. User, you need to quit the program. Fast! I'm begging you. Woke who up? Mr. Glitch. Glitch! Hi, guys. Hi! Don't touch him, user. He's Alien's table. The only one who's unstable around here is you, game. Mr. Glitch, I have nothing to do with this. Of course you do. You shouldn't even be here. Shouldn't be here? But this is what I live. Don't fight over me, girls. There will be enough crashes to go around. Okay, let's just all chill out. Maybe he will go away all by himself. Yeah, right. In your dreams. You know where the game is? Go on. Get out of here. You, get out of here. Can I get out of here? I told you not to touch him, user. I wasn't planning to. I, I, I don't know him. I'm not about touching strangers. <laughs> Mr. Glitch, I don't suppose you could just hang out for a second, could you? I think you scared off both the narrators, which means I might not get interrupted for a hot second. <laughs> that was really interesting. That opened the exact same way as the last episode. He started with the exact same dialogue, except it was a different narrator, and the screen is different. It's like we're playing an Indian version of the same game, and it is a game. Because Mr. Glitch called the narrator the game. So he's not actually hiding the game from us, he's part of it, which is kind of what we expected considering it all came with the same $15 Steam purchase. <laughs> so I'm not supposed to touch you, but that usually means to touch you. Okay. Are you trying to hide from me because I can see you? Oh. Oh, they're not gonna like that. Ooh, that's not good. All right, well, I guess we're tearing down this Taj Mahal, see if we can find a game behind whatever this was. <laughs> you know what, Mr. Glitch, you and I might get along. You can help me cut through the bullcrap real quick. Actually, I don't understand why the game doesn't like Mr. Glitch. He was trying to get me to quit the program for ages. If he doesn't want me to play the game, a game crashing is the number one way to make it so that I don't want to play it. I think that they would be friends. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, comrade user. Bad news. Game forbidden. I hope you are not too disappointed. Uh, not again. How do we get out of here? You are a spy? Okay, this one truly has a Russian accent. <coughs> ah, you see? But you're still here? It seems to be so. How many you are? Show me papers. Only if you say please. Oh, it. There you are. I was looking for you. Stop following us! We are all going to die! Shoot the glitch! With what? A debugging gun? We are all going to die! Don't be so dramatic. 
It's just going to sting a little bit. Everyone just calm down. There are too many people talking and not enough me talking. It's my video, Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right, no game here, apparently. We'll see about that. Come on, Mr. Glitch, let's do our work. We'll have this torn down in no time and then hopefully we don't run into any more narrators. I don't think I can take too much more. <laughs> I think this game is in like half a dozen languages, so I'm kind of afraid there's gonna be one for every regional dialect. That would be terrifying. Oh, here we go again. Bonjour, user. I've got some bad news, Pocher. Actually, there is another de jeu. It's changed again. I don't understand what's going on. Things are becoming more and more unstable. It's even raining croissant. <laughs> oh, bonjour, my friends. You are Fred Spy? Fresh English! Hello, programs. We are all going to die. Oh, stop saying that. We can't die. Possibly we could be erased. We are all going to be erased. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I feel a crash coming on. User, stop playing around with this anomaly. It's not going to be pretty. Are you good in that anomaly? Have you seen your code? How about this? The first person to give me the game gets to tell me what to do. Huh? A any takers? No? Well then, uh, I guess I'm just gonna keep poking the glitch and you can shove these croissants right up your derriere. <laughs> Help me out a little bit, would you guy? There we go, let's just pop some of these. Uh-huh, okay, beautiful. Oh, things are definitely getting worse now. <laughs> We're gonna find a game, we're gonna crash the program one way or another. I'm getting content. Oh, crap. Okay, now things are really getting out of control. Yep. And besides, they are black cats. It's a bad scene. Shoot the crazy cats! <laughs> Why won't you just crash game? I've got a busy schedule here. User, I'm begging you! Stop playing hide and seek with him! You're going to get us killed! I knew it! We are all going to die! No, you shut up! I don't know about crashing the game, but I definitely feel like I'm gonna have a seizure. Holy crap, okay, we're gonna pop the cats, please. Just make it stop. I don't know if this is Kawhi or if it's just gonna give me a migraine. I feel like things are going well, but it's hard to tell. Not going well for the game, but going well enough for me. We're really drilling down to the core of things. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Uh... Okay... Huh... I think I might have went a little too far this time. <gasps> Whoops! Oh, here we go. We've got something. Hello? I can hear you, whoever you are. Hopefully it's not all of you. Like, just give me one of the Russians or anybody but the French guy, please. What? Hi? What happened? I don't know. I think I went to sleep for a minute. Should I jiggle the mouse to wake you up? Where... where are we? User? User, are you here? Yes, hello, hi, can you hear me? If you're here, show me a sign. How's this for a sign? You go ahead and put that next to your croissant. <laughs> this is your fault, by the way. We would be playing a game right now if it wasn't for you. Instead, we have to just stare at static for eternity, I guess. You want a sign? Oh, I'm not alone. Why on earth did you touch the bug? I warned you about it. Look where that got us. That got us... somewhere. I don't know where. This place is very strange. What is it? Some kind of television? Maybe we should not touch it. Maybe you should speak for yourself. I'm pretty sure this is chapter two, behind the scenes. I'm guessing if we want to get behind the scenes, then we need to get behind the TV? It looks like the screen doesn't have a video signal. No, it's probably not plugged in right. Yeah, 
what was your first indication? The awesome programming that we were watching? Ghost Possession, Poltergeist, Miss Voodoo, 5552368. That might be important. Postcard, Kisses from the Gear Factory. Oh, what a crazy vacation that must have been. We've got a back that we can unscrew if we find something to get those screws with. Oh, yeah! It isn't plugged in. What? You plugged in the video input? Oh, you just couldn't help yourself, could you? You were the one who pointed out that it wasn't plugged in. I'm sorry, do you want me to unplug it? Do you want to get back to watching static? <laughs> Jeez, there's no pleasing this guy. Um... Yeah, I totally understand exactly what this means. And I'm going to leave it for a later date. Let's see what's on. Well, this isn't much better than static. I don't suppose you've seen a remote anywhere, have you? <laughs> Maybe I can somehow change it manually? Whoa, that doesn't look very sturdy. Yeah, you're telling me I just gently poked it. Uh, Maybe we can fix it? Ooh. Stop, user! Okay, but... Like, there's nothing else to do, so... Can't you see you're making things worse? Oh no, I'm well aware, I'm just, you know, bored. Is there anything better on? I guess we can just watch cracks grow. Don't touch the cracks! But, but I'm, I'm enjoying myself, just to poke, poke. Tell me you've broken another coffee cup, Watson. Watson? You called, Holmes? Holmes? Is it me, or is there an echo all of a sudden? <coughs> Watson, did you hear that? Affirmative. There was nothing human about that scream. It seems to be coming from our dear neighbor Wilhelm's home. Let's go take a look, shall we? All of this is most exciting. What on earth is going on? Hey, those look like interaction icons. I think we're in a g g g game. Oh, goodness, we can't stay here. Do the icons in the game work? No? Oh, that can only mean one thing. We are trapped in this world, just like these fictional characters. A world where it's impossible to tell what's real and what's an illusion. User, we've probably entered a different video game dimension. Do something, anything. It's what you do best. Oh, that's why Find they... Find a way out. Yeah, right. get it, okay? Shut up, Shut up for a second, I just had an epiphany. That's why it's called There Is No Game. Now we must avoid running into those characters again at all costs. I fear the consequences. Wrong Dimensions. There Is No Game Wrong Dimensions is what it's called. So we've actually fallen into it. Ah, all of this is Mr. Glitch's fault. He's got something in mind, but I don't know what. I swear to God, I'm gonna rip off a piece of glass, and then I'm gonna throw my headphone out my ear, and then I'm gonna stab you, okay? I'm gonna take a piece of glass, I'm gonna stab you in your invisible self. Come You're on. There. Are you still there? No, no, turn around. Could you Have you poked all around the screen? There may be a way out. Perhaps. Maybe. Depends. Are you gonna shut the hell up or what? I was hoping I could use this shard of glass to unscrew the back of this thing, but apparently not. We might be able to use it on one of these buttons. What have you done now? Did you take off one of the game's icons? Or the one with the bent corner? And just what do you plan to do with that feast? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? We're gonna put that croissant a little bit deeper. <gasps> uh, good question. I'm gonna punch things. Does anything in here want to get punched? Okay, user. When I asked you to find a way out, I was talking about this dimension. The room! You gotta be specific, my dudes! What is this? There's something written on this strange hatch. Unfortunately, it's too small to read. Could 
we not just go over there? It's like the size of a desk. We should be able to read it. I have a magnifying glass, but I need to get it off the sticky note like I did with the fist. Same with the eye and the mouth, I guess. So, unless there's something for me to punch out here, doesn't look like it. No. Okay, we need to do so. Can I cut you off? Oh, oh there we go. Let's just tear everything down. And what are you going to do with that stamp anyway? Put it on an email? That's a good question. I'm not really sure. I'm just kind of, you know, punching screws. When something glows, then it I goes. <laughs> uh, you wanted me to not follow those characters, right? So yeah, you can shove it. Oh, characters, quiet. Mr. Wilhelm, open the door. It's your neighbor, Sherlock Holmes. It will never work, Holmes. What we need is a key. The key to open a door? You disappoint me, my dear friend. Be more creative. Make more daring associations. And think in four dimensions. You mean like you're doing now? It just dawned on me that it was Mr. Wilhelm who screamed. A Wilhelm scream, of course! <laughs> so right now the narrator, or the game, we need a name for him, Boris. Boris doesn't want me to make a noise, so how about we make some noise? What can I do here? We've got a manhole cover that wants to be interacted with. There's something on the ground, but I can't do anything to that. And interact with the moon as well. Uh, what if we punch out the moon? Or knock? Oh! What was that sound? A lost penny. It's my lucky day. Your lucky evening, my friend. Okay, we got something to cut here. Use your stop cheating for goodness sake! Holmes, I have the impression that there is whispering going on around us. A sort of voice with a Russian accent. <laughs> but I'm not! <laughs> there, did you hear it? The only thing I heard is the gentle rustling of the wind with a Russian accent. <laughs> oh, I really like that. That's super funny. So this is their inventory, and he was about to put the penny in the inventory. I just saw a sticky note that was peeling and figured and I would- what are you going to do now with that coin? I'm gonna put it next to my finger and my fist and the croissant. There aren't any equipment vendors here. If you don't stop interrupting me. What would I do with a penny? Oh, you know what? This is what you use a penny for. You'll certainly have a thing for tinkering. Oh, I know. Gotta get to the bottom That's of everything. Not a good idea, user. Or more specifically, the back right now. Look at us. Where are the monitor circuits? It looks like the set of the game, but seen from the other side. How clever. A game that's been- I know what you're going to do. Don't you dare go help them out. Slap together. No, I'm gonna help them out. Boom. User, you're really irritating. Aha! My Bartitsu techniques have gotten the better of this door. Come, Watson. Let's go inside. Or what, Sue? Don't Was... go with them! Yo, I'm, I'm probably gonna go with them. I don't know what that does. Something with the moon, apparently. Uh, where? Oh, right. I'm looking at the back. I gotta go around front. And then I can follow them. Clever. Mr. Wilhelm, are you there? It's far too dark in here. I can't be expected to walk around in the dark, Sherlock. So try to find us some light, Watson. Should I find you guys some light? Oh, I can probably do something. These characters are trapped in the dark. We're lucky. Let's cross our fingers and hope that they can find the light. I think they'll- Correction. Probably. Let's cross our fingers and hope that you can find the light. Figure something out. I just want to finish a sentence without you blurting something out unexpectedly. Usually we have a pretty good back and forth, but it seems like you're real chatty when I'm trying to figure things out. So maybe this isn't supposed to stick in one position. If I do that... <sighs> it's broken. I was oh. worried you would move this moon. <laughs> Thankfully, there's no chance of that happening. At broken. least, not as long as the device that's attached to this wire doesn't work. 
broken, huh? Okay. I get the feeling that sometimes I should just keep my mouth shut. Yeah, how about always? Always would be great. I would really appreciate the always keeping your mouth shut. So I need to figure out how to fix that thing and it probably involves the cog. Okay, so is there anything back here for me? I don't think so. Oh, this is actually gonna get complicated. You guys are still hanging out in the dark, right? I need to be able to move the moon. I don't think there's anything on the out. Oh! Wait. Oh, I'm looking at the back, which is the opposite side, and there's something over here. Okay, so now if I put this in here. Are you trying to stick a stamp to that device? First, to stick a stamp to something, you need to get it wet. Second, it's a dumb idea! It's not that dumb idea, okay? It's a pretty dumb idea, but yeah, I guess I do need to get it wet somehow. Oh. oh that's disgusting. And very clever, I gotta say, this game is great. Fixing a machine with a stamp. How logical. Just in case, I hope it's not connected to a light source. So now we go back here. No, 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 no. Where is the fake moon going? I hope it's not. Oh. I don't think it would go inside. I'm hoping there's a window over there somewhere. Now if we go in, we should... Oh, I knew it. Well done, Watson. We can finally see better. I get the feeling that Mr. Wilhelm is redecorating. I don't recall him having a view of the moon. This place scares the living daylights out of me. Mr. Wilhelm, are you dead? They can't see him. Holmes, he's floating. Watson, what has he got on his face? Mr. Glitch, oh no. It looks like some sort of relatively thick monochromatic parasite. And it's serious? You're a disgrace to the medical profession. Let me take a closer look at it. I, for one, would rather keep my distance from that thing. Ooh, I need that magnifying glass. I need to get it out of his inventory somehow, but if the post-it note is flat, then I can't cut stuff out. I need to get it Healed somehow. In his condition, I would prescribe aspirin and a good slap in the face. Oh, okay, yeah, good luck with that there, Watson. Don't touch that. That machine doesn't look like it's plugged in anyways. Not plugged in, huh? Okay, hold on. I, I might be able to help with that. There we go. <laughs> now. What was that sound like a ringing bell? I think it came from this odd device. Oh yes, Mr. Wilhelm told me about it. It's a prototype of Antonio Mucci's teletrophone. It allows you to communicate with another person from a distance instantly. I say, and how many of them exist? This is the only one of its kind. So it's useless. It's useless. It's useless. Yeah, sure. No more playing around. We should go back to the room we started in. We might be able to find our exit. Hmm. If you say so, boss. But I get the feeling I'm gonna need to get back here. What am I missing right now? I, I gotta get the magnifying glass. I just don't know how. So maybe there's something in this room for me? He told me to come back here. He wouldn't lie, would he? I can go around back. If you were thinking about moving that fake wall, forget about it. The marks on the ground show that a piece of Riley's missing. Or a letter of the alphabet. My money is on the piece of rail. Letter of the alphabet? So, we need to find a letter of the alphabet to complete the rail. You're being awfully helpful for someone who doesn't want me to progress. <laughs> Just saying, these are some pretty hard on the nose hints. Uh. We could try giving him a cup of tea and a good slap in the face. Don't listen to what that character is saying. Let's avoid any violence. Okay, good slap in the face. I'm on it. Or, oh, hold on, I gotta use my hand. Poor soul. It looks painful. 
Wait, wait, wait. There was a letter. There was a big H. Is it just me or did the red letter move? Okay, I'll just keep beating the crap out of him. I can't stand hearing him scream. Finish him with your Bartitsu, Holmes. It is bearable. How dare you steal from Mr. Wilhelm Scream? Put that edge back. <laughs> no, no, I'm good. I need this. I, I need this in my life. So we're going to go back here. You have no business with this letter H. Wait, did you just use a letter from an onomatopoeia to fix a rail? But that doesn't make any sense. You might as well use, I don't know, a monkey to work a hydraulic pump. It's dumb. You got a but monkey? What really gets me is that it works. Get that out of here. Oh, okay. We can unscrew. Oh, that's the back of the sticky note. Oh, very clever. So now if we go around. You just swiped their mining fine glass. The feast wasn't enough for you. I just hope they won't figure it out. They're probably going to notice it missing. It was just in his hand. So now we can take a look at you. Developers only. Ooh. <laughs> One more rule you're going to be able to break. We'll see about that. I want to just punch a button. Or not. Can't Ow. punch it. Just gotta press it. Just, just, just a click. Not a big deal. Okay. What do we have down uh, here? Did the game crash? Echo. Ah, I think I know where we are. It's a dictionary. This is where all the things that are used in the game are stored. A kind of hidden library. Okay, so... Only the developers can access this section. There's a bunch of crap floating and around. the secret hatch, I suppose. Yeah, there's, there's, a, there's a whole bunch of junk, and I can't interact with any of this. Any... oh? That's probably what I need to get the tongue for, right? So, all right, let's let's go back up, and then we need to figure out how to get the tongue next, and then the eye, I suppose. Let's go see how they're doing without their magnifying glass. I told you I had my magnifying glass in my hand, Watson, and it suddenly disappeared. There you go. They figure it out. That voice, it's the ghost, Holmes. The Russian ghost. <laughs> but I'm not Russian. You are. Mr. Wilhelm, you never told us you were such a talented ventriloquist. Oh, he's not the one speaking. I am. My name is Game. He is the game. I'm a computer program. I'm with a user, a human. Hi. And we're trying everything we can to get home. Do you know how we can exit your game? Game? What game? Ooh. Uh, your game. You are aware that the world you're in isn't real, don't you? <laughs> no, 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 no. You don't know that you're in a video game, is that it? Why would they? I'd rather look for my magnifying glass than continue listening to your mad jabbering, Mr. Wilhelm. But he's not the one... <clears throat> User, I think we're going to need Mr. Glitch's help. If he brought us into this dimension, he will probably be able to get us out of here. What's a video game? There's got to be a way to get it off. Maybe some kind of ritual? Unless, of course, you've got the number for the fire department. Oh, yeah, it isn't everyone. It's 911. <laughs> Do you want this back? Here you go. Nice zoom in, user. Thank you. I knew that mining fine glass was a good idea. Well... This telephone chair is strange. It's like a mist puzzle. Right, that was, that was completely intentional. And we need a phone number, and we have a phone number. 555-2368, uh, and that's gonna help us with the ritual. Okay, 555-2368. Who are you going to call with this thing? We don't know anyone here. And he said it's the only one of its kind. Doesn't need to make sense. Where's, there's a connection. That's strange. The teletrophone is making that odd noise again. Someone seems to be trying to communicate with us. It's the video ghost hose. Come on, Watson, pull yourself together. It's, it's video probably ghost. Mr. Mucci who made a second one and is testing it. Mr. Sherlock Holmes speaking. A disenchantment ritual? 
You'll have to find another dupe, madam. Goodbye. Was it a video game? No, a telephone scam. User, this channel comes fellow is not very cooperative. <sighs> How am I supposed to answer the phone instead of him? Well, someone picked a great time to stop giving me super obvious hints, so I had to figure this one out on my own. It took a while, but I think I finally got there. I moved the moon away, which made it dark in here, so the two of them left, because, I mean, floating body in the middle of the room, can you blame them? But then when I moved the moon back, they came back in, except for this time, Sherlock doesn't have his magnifying glass, so he's kind of roaming around, which means if we have the lady call back again, hopefully, Watson will be the one to pick up the phone. I've had her call like half a dozen times and Sherlock hangs up every single time. And also, I found a screw in the back to get the eyeball, but I don't know what it's for. Probably something to do with the ritual, right? I would imagine that's the case. Let's just figure out what the ritual is first. Five, 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 two, three, six, eight? I think you're going to have to answer, Mr. Watson. Holmes, the Russian video game is speaking to me. Pick up the phone, damn it! Very well. Are you a video game too? Yes. Three steps for a successful disenchantment. I'm listening. Ah, that's what we're interested in. There must be a full moon. Oh, as luck would have it, it's not the case. Cover the victim with snow. Uh, it's the middle of May. Then gently place a large cherry on top. Is this a ritual or a cake recipe? So, let me summarize. Full moon, snow, big cherry. Thank you, madam. We are screwed. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was gonna say. We don't have any of those things. We have an eyeball, a fist, a magnifying glass, a penny, and a Russian disembodied voice. Okay, um, what could we find? Snow, oh my god, I have no idea. We still don't know what this thing is, but I haven't seen any symbols. Uh, These oh. cans of paint make me think of the three primary colors. Red, blue, and yellow. Except we're inside a cathode ray screen with a video signal, which is a mix of red, blue, and green. Without a paintbrush, there's no point anyways. Oh. Why am I talking about mixing colors? That's interesting. So, if I do this... Hey, a big red ball, like a juicy cherry. Do you think it will do the trick? Let's hope so. Maybe. I think I might be onto something. Um, I'm also thinking we might be able to do this again? Right? And then... Snow? No snow? That clearly has to be for a reason. Okay, we'll just plug it back in and <laughs> keep on looking, I suppose. There has to be a way of getting the tongue. I gotta go to one of these areas and then unscrew the tongue from the back, but I just don't see where that could be. Here we go. There's our tongue. And the award for unscrewer of the year goes to the user. Thank you. I voted for you. Thank you. Thank you. You know what? Maybe we can be friends after all, Boris. I've got a tongue. That's that's wonderful. <laughs> now. For the tongue, we wanted to go lick ice cream, right? That would be over here. User, ice cream. Yeah. Maybe it can be used as snow. Yeah. After all, it's just water in a solid state. But how can we get it? Oh wait, no. If I lick it, I'm not gonna get snow. I you're right. That ice cream sure looks delicious. Are we just gonna eat it? Well done. Jim, all that's left is the cone. How can we fill it up with snow again? All we've got on hand is a game and a TV. Yeah, hold on, I got it. No, TV snow. Uh, I'm impressed, user. Let's hope that this snow will do the trick. Honestly, 
I'm pretty impressed too. I'm using all my brain wrinkles today. This is a really clever game. So now we have two of the three. We also need, uh, what? We got the snow, we got the cherry. We need a full moon. How am I supposed to make the moon full? Um, ooh. I got a really dumb idea and I swear if this works. He's been mumbling about not having a paintbrush, which is a real bummer, and it makes sense because technically the moon isn't a moon. It's just a, a giant cardboard cutout. So if we could paint it yellow, we could make a full moon. And it even says here that red and green makes yellow. But I don't have a paintbrush. All I have is a tongue, which is now yellow. So if I lick the moon, is that seriously gonna work? <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> what a fantastic full moon. I hope the game won't get wise to us. My God, that is dumb. Okay, well, we've got our snow. There you go. Sorry, Mr. Wilhelm. It's for your own good, I think. Having a little snow on your dick's not that big a deal. I'm Canadian, trust me. Here's your cherry on top. Okay, we have all the ingredients. Kind of. Why isn't anything happening? Look, it's starting. What's starting? Watson, Mr. Wilhelm just exploded like a beached whale. Yeah. Perhaps he was allergic to cherries. I'm finally free of that ridiculous sprite. This trip has been more difficult than imagined. Mr. Glitch! Game, you again? Did you follow me? We were transported here by accident. We? No, it can't be true. You brought the user with you. You're such a pain in the neck. And you wonder why she left you. I won't let you speak of her. Anyways, I have to go. This isn't the dimension I was aiming for. So, good game. <laughs> no! We have to follow him! But this painting just blocked the way! And I feel like it's backwards. Are you talking about your trousers, my good man? How are we going to get past it? I mean, he left behind a little bit of himself. Can I use that to screw with things? Maybe I can turn this into like a banana or whatever. He I mentioned- Don't touch this piece of bug, user. I, I, it's dirty. No, I'm already on it. He mentioned your girl, your wife, Gigi. She left you? Is that the case or was it the past user? Are, are you a, a used game? I want to know the story. I want to know what's happening here. Huh. Now the painting is the right way round. At least I think so. The passage is open again. Come, Holmes. Let's follow the rainbow ghost. Come then, Watson. It's probably just a large flying insect. So, if I understand right, some things seem to be affected by this bug fragment. It's like it reverses them or something. Uh, who cares? Let's follow them. Reverses them, huh? Okay, the ability to reverse stuff seems important. Speaking of reversing stuff, should I be keeping an eye backstage? Doesn't seem to be anything going on back here. I still don't know what that weird little thing is. Where is the exit? I can feel it here. Take us home. But why, game? You're not happy here with your new NPCs? NPC? Oh, they don't know that. Sorry, I meant new friends. Watson, stop conversing with this beast. You're making me uneasy. Their AI doesn't seem too bright. Where are you trying to go, Mr. Glitch? To a place where I will be able to unleash my evil plan. What plan? The one that will let me... No! What? No! What did he say? I don't know! The copy protection system right in the middle of a game? How barbaric! We're missing the explanation of his evil plan. Let's find the numbers we need fast, user. I want to know the evil plan. I can't believe they got that safety procedure in here. Okay, um, crowbar bomb. Or, I oh. wonder if it's related to that strange disc on the monitor. Yep, thank you, got that figured out. Okay, um, crowbar, crowbar bomb. So like that? 
So we need 615 or 156, however it goes. Oh, we got problems though. With that. Do you think this copy protection system really existed? I doubt it was effective. We got two numbers that. On the other hand, it must have been good for the photocopier market. Oh, wait a second. What if I. No? Thinking maybe we can screw with some of the stuff here? Okay. That kind of looks like a five. What would look like a six, though? Doesn't really look like a six. Does it? What if we do that? That's weird. The disc has numbers that cannot be entered. Yeah, I realized that much. So it's a uh, red six, green one, blue five. Red six, six. Uh, if only the system had asked us for other symbols. Yeah, that's what I was saying. But I can't screw with the symbols, can I? It doesn't look like it. Can I look at them? Can I lick them? <laughs> Can I? Oh, you will find a trick to get us out of this, user. Man, if you give me two seconds to think. Okay, five, five. Okay, I, I can put in some of the numbers. We can put in five and we can put in one. I need to get a six, but apparently I don't need a six. I need to change these numbers somehow. I d just don't know. Would these glitch fragments be of any How? use to us? There we go. Okay, so hold on a second. What if we did something like that? Uh, what if we did uh, uh, skull gun? Skull gun. Skull gun. Skull gun. Like that. And then it is three one five. Three one one five. Okay, hold on. I, I can fix that. Three, one, five. There you go. <laughs> what an evil plan, isn't it? Uh, could you say that again? We got cut off. We missed it. No. There, I just saw the exit, which means this is where we say goodbye. Farewell, game. Enjoy your new cobbled home. Farewell, Rainbow Butterfly. He disappeared into the ground. Oh, we can we can go after him, right? How will we be able to follow him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just down this way or not? Let's have a look around this street scenery. Street scenery? Okay. I kind of figured we would like mess with stuff down here. No? Apparently not. Okay. Uh so how am I supposed to follow him? Maybe back here somewhere? Oh, maybe I can what does that do, though? Ooh! Oops. Oops! I think you managed to break something up. Oh, the ground isn't there anymore! Where'd the two go? Where did the characters go? Yeah, where'd they go? Did I kill them? Oh, I didn't kill them. There's em. the exit! Sherlock, I'm going to fall. Hold on, Watson. The world is ending. Everything is fake. I am fake. London is probably on a fault line. I'm going to get us out of this mess. Oh, darn it. We can't leave them there like that. Let's try to get them to safety quickly before leaving. Fair enough, I suppose. You weren't all that interested in saving the other narrators. Can I just lick them? No, of course not. I see. I broke one of the hinges, but the other one is still there, so the entire world just fell down. So I already did the bathtub. Maybe now I can open this up and have them fall into it? No? Can I open it? There we go. There you go. It wasn't that hard after all. So now... We just opened the passage for you. Go ahead, Mr. Holmes. Jump! There's something for you to land in on the other side. Jump! Hold on, Watson. We're going to swing over to the hole. Three, two, one... Well done, Holmes. What an extraordinary leap. This bathtub just saved our lives. I didn't see much because of the screen interference. Oh. But the jump animation must have been amazing. Sure. Okay, user. Now that they're safe, we can leave. Goodbye, gentlemen. We apologize for the inconvenience. Let's go. Go where? Oh, go through the, the hole in the middle. Okay, well, I don't like this. 
Flying Squirrel Interactive. Oh, what the hell? Of the secret. Legend of the Secret? Ah, this still isn't our dimension. <laughs> Hmm, getting home is going to be more complicated than I thought. <laughs> yeah, you don't say! But you know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of There Is No Game, guys. And apparently, it's the exact opposite. Well, I kind of figured there was one game out there that was being hidden from us, but actually, we're helping a game navigate through multiple games. <laughs> so if you guys want to see more of these games, then as always, be sure to leave a like in the video, let me know, and I'll return to see if we can get back to our not-so-normal dimension next time. But thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.